everyone welcome to our channel rebecca stew and the crew i'm rebecca it is tuesday so that means it's time for our first dollar tree video of the week for tuesday august 16 2022 just a reminder we do dollar tree videos on tuesdays and fridays and then diys craft products reviews all those types of uh, videos are posted on thursday so please check those out as well so let's go shopping and apparel and accessories this week there wasn't a whole lot new now that the kids have gone back to school here in texas but they did have these new cosmetic bags they're kind of small but they're all llama decor or alpaca i guess they have um a gray one a few different ones in pink also a blue one and then there's like one that's more like a really dark pink, almost red. They also had purple and yellow. And they all have a coordinating zipper at the top. They had the Toy Story Buzz Lightyear movie. They had a bag to go with that. It's one of those larger tote bags. And then a tank top style youth shirt. They had quite a few of these with the smiley face rhinestones. And they were two to four T. Over in Arts and Crafts this week, they have... The um, Crafter Square stickers, these are the decorative stickers that have the clear backing. So you can put them on lots of different items. They do show them on like um, phones and laptops, but since the background is clear, you can actually put these on quite a few items and have them look almost like you used a cutting machine, like a Cricut or a Silhouette to make um, different stickers and things. You can put these on um, like a glass vase. You could do candle holders. Um, there's lots of different options, um, even uh, mirrors and things like that. They also had their Berry Garland in for fall. They have the green and white strand. One is like a really dark burnt orange and then the burgundy that fades to almost brown. Also, they had some of their fall stickers in. They brought these back. They had them out last year. They're so pretty. They look like a stained glass window. They have like some faux type metal work and then it almost has like a water kind of color wash over them. So it's a soft, really pretty color with the faux metal. The writing is really pretty. It's got like the script work. And then a lot of them have almost a clear see-through appearance. So again, these would look really pretty on like candle holders or some glass um, votives and things. There's lots of different ways you could use these stickers as well to decorate. For health and beauty, they didn't really have a lot new um, for the beginning part of the week as far as hair care items, but they did have the Bolero leave-in conditioning cream. It's the coconut milk and rose oil. It says it's to, uh, for moisture and to hydrate. The pharmacy and personal care items, they brought back the two-pack of the facial um, sponges. These are the charcoal infused, and one is an exfoliating style sponge. They're really thin, but they get bigger when you um, hit them with the water. They also had the Yes brand it's the yes studio hand cream um, they had those in a few different scents and then the echo gang floss picks you can either get the charcoal infused or the plant-based uh, material one it's got the double floss and then it also has um, the little pick on the end for fun finds these aren't new i showed you guys these on friday but they did have one more mirror that i missed last week so they have them in three colors plus the hearts you can get the cats in the um pink blue and yellow for home decor this week they actually had out um a bunch of these switch plate covered de uh, decals that they had out last week which i showed you guys and they're over by all the wall creation stickers well, this week they had the large sheets of stickers that you would put on a wall which coordinate with the switch plate cover stickers i didn't find them for all of the sets of stickers they had out for the switch plates but i did find a few of them um so they have the one with the bunny it's got like butterflies and birds really large stickers the ones for the wall like the rabbits probably every bit of eight inches tall so they're quite large it's a double-sided sheet so you get stickers on both sides um and then they had this one here with the different animals that say things like um magic is in you rise and shine and it has the different animals with the floral uh cutouts in them so they have the wall creation sticker to match that switch plate cover and as you can see it's a really pretty soft muted tones of like tan and the black and then a little hints of like silver and gold every once in a while in the um, stickers there so there's quite a few of those those are also a double-sided um, sticker 
And then I found the uh, sea turtles and it, there's like an octopus and a whale. I believe they had the nautical themed switch plate covers at the other store that I was at. And then this store did not have the switch plate covers, um, which coordinated with us. But I do know that they're out there because I remember them from the video uh, we showed. I believe it was Friday or Tuesday of last week. So they do have the switch plate cover, which coordinates with this one here uh, with the flowers. It's got a whale. They also have um, it's like a sea turtle, an octopus or some starfish and jellyfish really cute they're these really soft muted tones they've got like little floral details on them i just think they're absolutely adorable so those are really fun to find and again those are over by just the wall creation uh, like main street wall stickers that they usually carry then they had their nautical uh, glass jars back in and then they also put out their mirrors so they brought these out about um, eight months ago, they started to come out with just the solid color mirrors. They usually have these in a brushed metal look. It's got like the black and silver tone or the black and gold, but now they're just in the solid colors. You can get them with the gold or just the matte black, and they're all the same designs as you see here housewares and storage they didn't have a lot this week but i wanted to show you guys they brought back the shampoo pumps with the bottles you can get them in two different colors i absolutely love these i just use my cricut to cut out shampoo and conditioner and i buy the gallon size jugs from sally's beauty supply to fill them it actually saves a lot of money doing it that way over in the kitchen and pantry they have these core water bottles usually these are like a dollar 78 or more at walmart they're a dollar 25 over at the dollar tree and then they had this eternal water this is a one and a half liter bottle so i looked these up on walmart.com and for a case of them you would get 12 they would be $57.57 or $4.79 a bottle, but these were just $1.25 at the Dollar Tree for the same size. They also had the Kind Frozen uh, plant-based ice cream, and it's a one-pint container for $1.25. The Bakersfield Sprinkles, they had those out for Halloween, so make sure you check those out over by the baking items. And then I also found some more stores that have the lemon zester with the lemon juicer on these little Vibe uh, brand uh, boxes that they have out in the kitchen supplies. For the office supplies, they had out these colorful um, calculators. They had them in orange, green, and in pink. And then they had some more journals. These are the hardback journals. This one says squeeze the day. And this one says be humble, be kind, strong, positive, and inspiring. For the toys, games, and entertainment, the only thing I found new were these sensory um, style balls. You squish them and they've got like a gel type fluid in them. And again, those are like a sensory style toy and they are all rainbow striped. Now, the majority of the items we'll find new this week, of course, will be in the seasonal items we'll do uh, for fall and we'll do like the Halloween kind of items first. Then we'll switch over into Thanksgiving. And of course, some of these can be used for both holidays. So they have got the Dahlia clips. These are the extra large flowers. It's like a really pretty bright pinkish kind of purple they had a deep purple and then you could either get the black with the purple glitter or the black with the silver glitter and they have a clip on the back and they match pretty much the ones that they have out for fall they also had their bottle brush trees restocked and then these new led projector lights they did have these out last year um they come in black or orange and one of them has like a like witch flying in the night or one of them is a skull that is on the wall they had their led 10 count lights in the orange and in the purple you do need batteries for those and they are on the black strand of wire and then these led lanterns they have them in orange and in black so the orange ones have the pumpkins the black ones have skeletons the black ones were gone already so i did take a picture from the website so you guys could see what they look like and they are four by four by eight inches tall so they're pretty large also the deco mesh that looks like candy corn they have a few styles of that and then they brought back the carvable foam pumpkins in all three colors so the black one they only had about two left but they did have a bunch of the white ones which I like because they don't have any of that plastic coating on the outside so you're pretty much free to do anything you like to this pumpkin and then the orange ones you know if you wanted to paint them or something it's a little bit more difficult just because of the color some new um, Halloween signs they have out and also some new 
ribbon. So they've got the velvet ribbon. It's two and a half inches and you get one yard of the velvet. I only found it in orange, but I suspect there were other colors. Just most of them were gone already. They also had some glitter style ribbon. It looks like um, spider webs, some of the uh, grained ribbon. They had sugar skulls and then these really cute ones with the jack-o'-lanterns. You can get them in orange and then the skull and crossbones in the black. I think they might have been bats. So they had quite a few new ones. They also had this one here with the glitter and the black stripes on the ends. Then they had these glass jars with the corks. It got a little bit of raffia at the top. The pumpkins are made kind of like out of a cardstock, but they've got the buffalo plaid leaf. These are falling, autumn is calling. And then happy fall, y'all. And they did have those out last year. Some window clings. They have the fall ones that say give thanks with the turkey, the pumpkins and gourds, and the fall leaves. And these are a repeat item. They've had these out the last few years in a row. They also brought back the um, gnome stickers, which are so cute. I saw these last year. They're drinking like Starbucks and things like that. Super cute. And then they've got the other sheet of stickers, which are kind of like a 3D style sticker. They've got the red truck, pumpkin pie, some sunflowers, a deer, and mushrooms. Also, this wired ribbon on the burlap with the leaves. It's so pretty because they're just very soft and subtle with the leaves. They don't have those real wild colors. I really like those a lot. I just like the style of them. Also, the three count pack of the leather pumpkins. They have them in two different colors, but I want you to see how this one's kind of torn up at the top. So you want to really check them out because not all of them are put together the best or some of them are already cracking. So you definitely want to check them out and look them over pretty good before you buy and then they had their crushed velvet style pumpkins they had them in a quite a few different colors you get three in that pack and then the ones that have the um, kind of like white fluff on top um, they had those in a few different colors you can get it without or with the white uh, like white wash over the top there so as you can see here they've got tons of miniature pumpkins out a whole bunch of different styles and then I found that they restocked the sweater pumpkins. These are super popular. They come in pink, orange, green, blue, gray, and an off-white. And they are on that long stick, but you can remove it if you like. And here's a close-up of the pink one. Also, they had their DIY clips. They have the truck with the pumpkins in the back. You get four. There's a view of the back. And then they had their leaves. You get six of those. Or the pies, you get four. And then the pumpkins, you get six. The Harvest DIY Words, you get six of those. So it's two of each style. You have like Welcome Fall, Hello Fall. And then the DIY Mushrooms, there's two different styles. We showed you guys last week, they, I think it was last week, they had apples as well. So there's two different mushrooms this week and the acorns. And then they had the photo frames. They have a leaf and an acorn, and these were out last year as well. Also the palette um, signs that look like an acorn and a leaf, those are repeats from last year. And then these mini truck ornaments, you get the red, it's got like a pumpkin and wheat and some little flowers in the back, or the four pack of the blue, and they have the little pumpkins and flowers in the back also. The door hangers with the fall colors, they have a bunch of different color ribbon hanging down and the bells are different colors as well depending on which one you purchase. And then this sign, it's a vertical sign, it says it's fall and then they have the football underneath of that that says play and then a pumpkin and then another football that says ball and here's what it looks like all together. They also had this one. It says family, food, and football. And then it's not fall without football. It looks like the field. They had this yard sign. It's the green truck that says pumpkin patch and caramel apples with the arrows. I just think this is so cute. It's got the yard stakes. So you could put them outside. And then they had one that says hay rides, corn maize, and apple cider. And it's also on a stick that you can put outside. They had their mason jar signs. We saw these last year. There's two of them. And then these are a gift bag, but more of like a box. So they have their green that says be thankful. There are four different sizes. So here um, they are from the inside. The inside are blue for the green one. It's a green, blue, and white. Then the dark navy blue with the um, galvanized metal look. It's got the blue ribbon with the darker blue um, plaid on the side. Orange in the center. 
And then this one, it says fall bucket list and has a little checklist there. The side of this one is gray with the gray satin ribbon and the inside is orange. And then the last one is this one here with the really light mint green, orange and white. And here's a view of the side with the ribbon. And again, those come in four different sizes and this one's orange on the inside. They had some new floor mats that say hello fall with the red truck. These are really thin, so they won't do well outside, but you could put them in the house, like in the kitchen. They had gather here with the wreath and the brown background, and then hide their pumpkin with all the different pumpkins. Then I already showed these little uh, stands in white, but I found them in green and orange. So I wanted you guys to see all the colors that they come in. Now for the Dollar Tree Plus items, these are the three or five dollar items. Not all stores carry these, but most do now. They have the metal signs that are three dollars, the microfiber cloth set for five dollars by Turtle Wax, and then the Home Sweet Home vertical sign. These are five dollars. You could also get, um, I'm sorry, they're either horizontal or vertical depending on which sign you get. Um, because they have different ones for like Halloween as well. They have the Hey Boo, and then they've got the stackable cloth pumpkins. Those are three dollars. This uh, ghost here, he's five. This truck is five. And then the Piva uh, tablecloths, these are three dollars, and they're all different sizes. This one has buffalo plaid. It says like fall. It has give thanks, some different wreaths and things on it. And then the gold and kind of like a bronze and copper color tablecloth with the leaves they had the gnomes there's a close-up so you guys can see what they look like also some sunflowers and they have them in a bunch of different sizes so make sure you check those out the knit pumpkins these are in a nice large pumpkin that look like they're covered in a sweater there are three different ones you've got the brown the white and the orange and those are really pretty they have these light up pumpkins. They look like mercury glass, but they're just plastic. They're $5. They have two tall or two short ones. So they have like a um, really light kind of rose gold and silver or the orange and silver. And they look like they'd be heavy, but they weigh practically nothing. You do need to put batteries in them. So there's four of those and they're $5 each. Also these harvest um, pot with the flowers in them. These are so gorgeous for $5. They're nice and heavy. There's three different ones, the neutral, the orange, and then the orange with the red, and then the stackable pumpkins that look like they are covered in yarn or stacking pumpkins. And then they have these um, printed plush throw blankets. They've got, uh, these are $5, and they've got the sunflowers, the truck with the pumpkins, and it's got some wagons with pumpkins, also the gnomes. And then they have the buffalo plaid with leaves all over it. Here's a close up of what the blanket looks like. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And please check out some of our other videos that we've been posting recently. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. There's lots of different DIY ideas and uh, some of the fall items that you might not have seen in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.